Now, let us discuss accepting two integer values in Python. So, there are two scenarios which we will consider. In the first scenario, that is scenario 1 and scenario 2. The first scenario, the integer values will be in subsequent lines. That is in line 1, if we give 10, then we will give the second integer value in line 2. So, we will give 200 like this. So, the program must accept the first value in line 1 and the second value in line 2 and print the sum. So, here the output will be 210. In the second scenario, we will give the input values in the same line. We will give 10 like this and then we will have a space and then we will have 200. So, here also the program must print the output as 210. The difference is in the scenario 1, the integer values will be in separate lines, that is subsequent lines. In scenario 2, they will be in the same line. So, how to accept the input value? When we say input, Python will read the entire line and give it to us. So, here we have to read this line using input and then convert it into integer using int function. Similarly, the second line we should read using input and then we should convert it into integer using int function and then print the sum of both. So, this is the approach for S1. For S2, the input will give both the values together. So, now we have to split them. So, how to split? By default, it will split using the spaces, that is the white spaces, right? So, we will use split. So, we can get 10 and 200 as the two string values. So, now we must convert them to integer. So, what we will do is we will apply map function where we will say convert each value to int and we will say input dot split. So, this input dot split will return two values which are treated as string and each will be converted to integer that is mapped to integer and will be stored in two integer values. So, this is the concept behind obtaining the two integer values in scenario 1 and scenario 2. In scenario 2, we are splitting it so that this becomes a separate string value and this becomes a separate string value. Then we are using the map function to convert them to integer and store in two int variables. That is two variables which are treated as int because we have told map of int. So, let us write the code for both the scenarios. So, now the first scenario, let us call the first variable x. So, we are going to say int of input. Okay. So, similarly, the second variable y, int of input. So, now we are simply printing their sum. So, x plus y. So, what will it do? First line it will read using the input. Then it is converting to int. Similarly, the second line is read by this input and it is converted to int and stored in y. So, now we are printing the sum of x and y. So, when we give 10 and 55, it prints 65 as the output. Let us come to the second scenario. So, in second scenario, both are in the same line separated by a space. So, what we must do is, we should say map of int, because they are in the same line, we are going to say input dot split. So, this will split the values and convert them to integer and store them in x and y respectively. So, now let us execute the program. We are giving 10 space 560. So, the output will be 570. So, now let us give three values. So, x, y and z. So, here also we have to print the sum. We will add z. So, now we are going to give 55, 12 and 8. So, the output will be 75. Because in this input split, three string values are obtained and then they are converted to integers and then stored in x, y, z respectively. 
So based on our discussion, please try to solve these programs and thanks for watching.